Las Posas is certainly very, very rare as a piece of creation. It's full of surprises, but it's a place which is enormously atmospheric, and you have a tremendous sensation of discovery. It's continually surprising you. You go up a stair and it suddenly drives you off the edge. You get onto a platform, totally unsecured of course, no railings or anything like that, walk to the edge and suddenly you realise you're looking down an immense distance and a whole series of elegant, thin, concrete castings are coming up, rising beside you and oscillating gently as soon as they're touched. Las Posas, the pools, is one man's monument. These 80 acres of remote jungle, a day's drive south of the Texas border, have been transformed into a playground of the imagination, filled with fantastic surrealist structures. The man behind Las Posas was an eccentric Englishman named Edward James. Born to immense wealth and privilege, Edward's life imitated the surrealist art he loved in its extravagance and unpredictability, its defiant mix of seriousness and whimsy. A man of extremes, Edward dined with kings, scandalized society with his sexual escapades, and spent months by himself in a hut in the jungle. He became friend and patron to a generation of artists that included Dali, Picasso, and Stravinsky. But rich as he was, he yearned for something money couldn't buy, to be recognized as an artist in his own right. Only since his death in 1984 has the world begun to discover the true artistic legacy of Edward James, one of this century's unsung architects of beauty.